and I'm just not a big cream soda fan, so, so sorry. All around me are familiar faces, worn out. Oh, snap. Hey yo, what is up Thrill Seekers? Today I am here at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas with Noah and Kaden. Today we are going to be doing kind of like a guide to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas type of video. We're going to be talking about all the things we like, things we don't like, things that you can skip, things that you really need to do, stuff like that as we kind of make our loop around the park. First, of course, we're gonna ride Goliath real quick, so let's do it. Here we are, apparently, Apparently, Caden has some thoughts about Goliath once we get up. Some some hot thoughts, takes. I don't even some, think they're hot takes. Like, maybe maybe, maybe really some like lukewarm takes. Yeah, yeah. Some some room temperature takes. Why is this I don't a know. Superman seat? I know. It's the exact same restraint. So whatever, dude. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's yeah. true though. It's really funny. Alrighty, here we go. Yes. Obviously, has no line since it's during the week. And I'm definitely not skipping school. <laughs> yeah. Discovery Kingdom and Scrap Kong. They should send this to Discovery Kingdom Scrap Kong? Is that what you just yeah, said? Scrappy, scrappy SLC named Kong. Okay. Put this in its place. What would go here? Uh, accelerator. I want an instrument accelerator. Do you? Okay, okay, okay. So you think that uh, that a retired ride model that's super expensive and super unreliable retired ride model anymore. But like, but like, but like, come on, man. Alarm at all time in red, pulling us out of rest. Go off, Ariana, I see off, you. Blue. Hey, here we are. Let's do it. Alrighty, there you go. That was, I just did two rides. They are lame and they just did one ride. <laughs> that was I just abandoned them. That was Colin today. Yeah, the yeah. really, really intense in the back row, but like for sure. Definitely, I do recommend at night sit in the front row, like in the middle seat. You get, you get, mm. like it's so. Perfect. Yeah, for yeah. sure. If you're an intensity fan, definitely ride Goliath. It's right here at the front of the park. I suggest coming back to it later in the day, yeah. since it's at the front. Everyone just rushes to it. Yeah. And um, if you're an intensity yeah. fan, try it in the back row. If not, try it towards the front. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's a great ride for sure. It, it right here at the ride. entrance, right over there. Did you get it on video of me saying I want an accelerator? Yes. Okay, <laughs> so I'm changing that pick. Because okay. I'm gonna, a launch coaster will come in later today. I would have put a flyer, and it doesn't even necessarily need to be a B&M, because you have uh, Vacoma making those new flyers, so they that's want to true. bring one over to the States. Oh, yeah. It'll be cheaper. Like, you don't need an FLY, but you can get a probably a fairly cheap flyer from them. Literally. Okay. Anyways, we're going to go and probably go to um, Poltergeist, yeah? Yeah, we'll go that way. Alrighty, sweet, let's do it. By the way, guys, this is the front area of the park. This is called Los Festivales, and it is kind of the front uh, entrance plaza. It's a really nice plaza, really nice to kind of just chill out in. Usually they have a refill station right over here, but it is blocked off right now, as you can see. Um, but normally they have that, which is really nice. Overall, this is a nice area to, uh, at the park if you want to just kind of chill out for a bit. Yeah. They have fun. a whole bunch of benches over there. Yeah. It's also fun if you're, a guy, if you're someone like me who likes the shows. They have some pretty cool shows in the very true. right here. Very true. Just a tip, guys. The best time to come is kind of the winter months. Um, the time period between November and March, I would say, is the best time to come mm -hmm. to the park. If you are going to come during a more busy week, my um, my professional opinion, you should get here very early in the morning and go straight to Iron Rattler, Roadrunner, and that side of the park. From there, as quickly as you can, get to the back of the park before a whole bunch of people get there. Basically, people make like a loop around the park, starting with these two rides. If you skip these two rides, come back later, then you will beat that loop that people do, and you'll kind of get ahead of it and do that loop. So it's going to be starting with Crack Axle Canyon, going back to Superman Joker, back to the back of the park with Wonder Woman, um, and then coming back up to the front to ride, don't ride Boomerang, it kind of sucks, um, and Goliath. 
As we pass Lone Star Lills, this is the place where fireworks will be during the summer and some other special events, usually Christmas and Halloween. Um, this is Bugs Bunny. This is a nice water ride. There's another water ride at the other side of the park. They are both closed today, um, but most days they will be open. It is during the week right now, so we don't have much staffing and there's not many people here. But um, during like the summer time, um, there's going to be a lot more people. So yeah, anyways, let's go on over to Poltergeist, which is our next ride. Unfortunately, Batman and Poltergeist are down um, right now, most likely because of staffing. Like I said, it is one of the first actual weeks that it's open like during the entire week. So because of that, some of the rides are done. Poltergeist. Go off. So, Poltergeist is a good ride. It looks like they're about to repaint it. But yes. in my opinion, it needs to go. Yeah. Similar to Flight of Fear, Kings Dominion, and Kings Island, these rides are very old. But they're reaching 2025 at this yeah. point. That's the, true. They're in the late 90s. That's true. It, it, just, it doesn't really have a place in the park. It doesn't really, it's, it's probably more expensive to run anyway. So uh, yeah. if I'm removing it, I put an SNS air launched. Uh, uh, yeah, one of the newer. The, like um, Force? No, no. What's it called? The uh, the new one. The Swingies. Axis. Axis coaster. Axis. Oh, oh yeah. Axis coaster. Okay, I see you. That's what I'll put in that spot. It's a condensed area that the Axis would sit really well in. Yeah. 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 If you need something to skip, I would say skip Batman. Other than that, it's a pretty fun ride, um, depending on where you sit. Um, but if you it's like, if you like spinning closer, you'll yes. Closer. Other every ride is different on Batman, so sometimes you'll get a great ride, sometimes it won't be that great. So again, if you need something to skip because you just don't have time, then skip Batman. If not, then try your best to ride it. Anyways, let's go. Continue down the park. This is Scream. If you have enough time to ride Scream, I would say ride it. It's really fun. Do you guys want to ride Scream? No. Why? I don't like Scream. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I love Scream. That's so sad. Um, so in that case, we are going to go onto the boardwalk since there's really only one ride there that we want to ride. <laughs> and that is... Pirates! Hey, that is their Fireball. shooting dark ride. No, definitely ride. not Fireball. Do not ride Fireball. Oh, no, don't ride Fireball. Oh, God, no. In addition, on the boardwalk, they also have Pandemonium, which is a spinning coaster. Um, the boardwalk usually opens at 12. So by the time you kind of get back here after, if you did the plan um, that I just laid well, out, open, which is Iron door Rattler door. and then kind of circling around here, you should get around get here somewhere around 12 and just quickly do pandemonium because it can get crowded kind of during the day for hey, sure. nice crowds do where texas one does yeah it's uh it's kind of a more family ride so a lot of people want to ride it since very kind of all ages. very low capacity that, that is very true capacity. so definitely start oh, with crack axle canyon come around to kind of the dc area um, which is just right over there and then you're gonna make it to the boardwalk get in here right at 12 and ride pirates of the caribbean what? and pandemonium dude, of the DC, oh wait what? Caribbean, what i always say that dude yeah, 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 yeah. that would yeah this is not ride. disney it would be a better ride honestly here we go pirates of the deep sea hey this is a fun ride hey here we are Beautiful, beautiful pirates. Oh, whoopsies. I forgot. I didn't even realize the flash was on. Anyways, here it is. Hey. Pirates of the Deep Sea God in the building. All right, I forgot to tell you guys. Noah thinks he's really good at pirates. I don't, I don't in reality, that, no. he's really, really bad, guys. But I, 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 if you I ever see him, if you ever see him in the park, make him feel good and say that he's the best ride. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's actually really good at pirates. No. Here we go, we skirt. By the way, for a comparison, you said your biggest score was? 25-40. Alrighty. I'm not gonna get the board. <laughs> the board only goes up to 800. Oh, okay. If you get over 800, then you're really good. And he got 2,540. Yes, sir. So, 
Let's see here. Anyways, let's do it. Okay. Alrighty. I did really bad. How much did you get? Alrighty. I got 60. Alrighty, there you go, guys. We j uh, I just got 660. He got 1640, which is pretty good, honestly. Then let's ride Wonder Woman. We rode a whole bunch earlier today. Let's try to see if we can get some food. Alrighty, let's do it. My favorite place to get some food is Johnny Rockets right it's here. Close. And it is closed, so that's so sad. We'll there is the another water. Johnny Rockets near Superman, so we can go on over here. By the way, a trick, there is another entrance to the boardwalk right over here um, that uh, usually that is open. There. Definitely do not ride Fireball. Or, 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 or I've never or ridden or that. Or any of the new rides from 2016. Yeah. If you're looking for a place inside to eat, then go over to Pete's Eats. It is right next to Poltergeist and we probably will go on over there. By the way, if you have a dining plan, there is a snack option for you right here. This is a little ice cream place. Oh, so good. It is so good. Definitely get some caramel on top of it, in my opinion. Um, just get vanilla with some caramel sauce. They give you a whole bunch of caramel sauce. Oh, I've never had those, but um, the caramel sauce is only six, like, I think it's uh, 69 cents. Um, and if you have the dining plan, then the ice cream itself is free. It's so then it is, it is closed, but that's okay. Cause we're going to use our snack options on the elixir, which is near Iron Rattler. Wonder Woman Golden Lasso is def coaster is definitely a must to do here at Six Flags. Usually it does have a long line. So make sure to get here um, relatively early for it. Really hit the major ones in terms of Iron Rattler, Roadrunner, Daredevil. Come on really quickly over to Superman and then come on over really quickly to Wonder Woman and you should be able to get it here before the line gets too long. But something else, there are a lot of shows around the park here in different theaters as well as just in some stages just throughout the park. So make sure to stop and watch some of these. They're really awesome. <laughs> and here we are back over at Pete's Eats. We are going to grab food here real quick. By the way, another suggestion, definitely try to use mobile ordering. Um, it helps a lot, especially when there are big crowds and the food lines are really long. You can do that through the Six Flags app. Here we are at Pete's Eats. This is a great little restaurant. Definitely recommend coming here. And if you do mobile order, then you can pick it up right over there. Alrighty, so the plan for us after this is going to be eat real quick, go see if Joker has no line. Tip, if Joker has no line, ride Joker. If it has a line, um, then usually that's going to take a while and it's honestly not that worth it. Um, but it don't, don't, doesn't have a line today, so we're definitely gonna ride Joker. And then Superman real quick, crossover, because we got some inside information saying that Poltergeist is going to open. So we're going to do that uh, and then go into Crack Axle Canyon. By the way, that guys, I've heard a couple people say like, oh, it has a confusing layout, like this park. It does not, honestly. Um, you're going to walk through the entrance plaza and then you can do one of two things. Either you can stay straight and go into Crack Axle Canyon. That is what you should do if you're gonna get here early and try to ride all the rides real quick. Or you can split off to the left and that'll take you past Poltergeist and kind of towards the back of the park. It completely makes a 100%, it just makes a circle. So you're going through Crack Axle Canyon, gonna meet up at um, Rockville and then just circle back around to the front plaza. At the end of the circle, there is a little half circle and that is the boardwalk. And there is one cut through, which is Fassberg, and that's what has Bugs Bunny. That cut through is right next to Superman and it takes you to right next to Poltergeist. So that's what we're going to take after we ride Joker and Superman to get back to Poltergeist. Um, but that's the park layout. It's really easy and do not want you guys to get confused because it's not confusing. There we go. Just had a nice meal here at Pete's Eats. 
which is a nice little place anyways. We are going to go on over to Superman, just around this way, and Joker as well. Um, by the way, we did do a video earlier today where we tried to see how long we could last riding Wonder Woman over and over again. I was able to get to five rides. They only got to four rides and then they were done. I, I, and then, I could have gotten five. But yeah, I, like, I could have stayed there all day, but they wanted to go do something else. So I did that, uh, but definitely go watch that video. We ride a lot more rides in that video. I feel like we're skipping a lot right now since we already rode a decent amount of things. Um, but something that we are riding, like I said, Joker and Superman. Here we are, here at Joker. Usually this line is outside of the entrance, so definitely a not very crowded day today. They are starting to load every single car, unlike before where they would still space people out. So that is definitely going to do wonders for this capacity. Anyways, here we go, Joker Carnival of Chaos. Going into the fun house. Oh, it feels so good in here. Yeah. He rode the, rode the swings. You rode the, the super villain hey, swings. Super villain swings. Let's go. All right, we just rode Joker. Joker is really, really fun. Honestly, better than Daredevil Dive. It's really, really fun. That's definitely my favorite flat ride in the park. Anyways, we're going to ride Superman Krypton Coaster real quick. No. I don't like those pendulum swings. Joker is way better than Daredevil. Yes. Okay. Peace out. I have to say though, Joker is really fun but it normally has like a crazy like two, three hour line. It's not worth that line. Don't wait in it if it's like out of the entrance. No, don't do that. Um, definitely just focus on the coasters because those are going to be your main attractions. Um, really your main attractions are gonna be Iron Rattler, Superman, Wonder Woman, Poltergeist, Goliath. Those are like the really main ones that you just have to ride. Um, other than that, you can kind of pick and choose um, but definitely Joker is not one of them that you have to get on, so don't wait in a three-hour line for Joker. Put your mask on! Put your mask on! We still can stop on the... On the lift, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Alrighty, that was a pretty good ride here on Superman. Yeah! 
did you there was a lot of rattle a lot of, rattle. A lot of b and m rattle it's definitely I'm getting to be, today. I've had a really bad yes rattle. it's definitely getting to be a rattly ride i always was like what do you mean it has a rattle now yeah it's definitely at the bottom of the first drop um between the loop and the turnaround and then after that little turnaround on top of the quarry wall going into the cobra roll those are definitely really rattly moments really any big valley on this coaster is going to have a little bit of a rattle the rest of it is just a little bit shaky but it doesn't really affect the ride too much those valleys though um, big it, rattle yeah it's, it's really kind of just rough throughout i don't know if it's wheels or if it's just the track wearing down yeah i mean it's almost i mean it's be over a 20 year coaster now right yeah it's uh 21 years old anyways we're going to head on up to well, first we're gonna ride Poltergeist. Hopefully they have opened it by now. And then we're going to head on over to um, Crack Axle Canyon and get the like elixir thing that everyone says to get. So first Poltergeist, then elixir, and then we're really just gonna head out. Here we go, walking through Spassburg. This is the little cut through that cuts through the circle. First half of the circle is gonna be over there and it's gonna go all the way around the park. And then it's going to meet up back here and there's a little cut through before you enter Crack Axle Canyon, which completes the circle. The things that need to be fixed, it's Fastberg. It's Fastberg and need, like Studio 6F especially. Yeah. Does not fit with any of the theming. Like give this place some more theming. The House of Voodoo really helped with that. That's but true. now that's gone. That is so true. Can, add some more flair it just seems yeah. really weird. i have to say stanger fest is a great place to eat um and also this is kind of one of the more themed areas i would say other than crack axle canyon but definitely the left side here is a lot more themed than the right side over there for sure anyways let's ride pulp real quick yeah that's a pretty good ride i honestly really like it um love the wheels um anyways yeah it, it's good for what it is but i stand by that it's probably i do go. think that it's time for it to go it's getting really old and they could get another awesome more uh i guess newer model of launch coaster in here but it's still a definitely like a must do if you come here to six flags anyways that's really gonna be it we're going to go grab that elixir which is towards the front of the park which is apparently kind of like butter beer um and i've never never had it before so i'm excited to grab that but other than that we will head on out at the start of the video we went that way on that side of boomerang we are now going the other way past the flash pass, flash pass headquarters and into crack axle canyon the only area that we have not been in today and around that corner takes us into crack axle canyon arguably the best area of the park in my opinion it's the best but i may be biased since i work here but yeah this is where roadrunner is gonna be also where iron rattler is gonna be and the newest attraction over there daredevil dive we rode all of these rides in the last video which you can check out in the top right corner of your screen but right now we are going to go get some elixir which is kind of like butter beer apparently and it's supposed to be really good. So, cool. Thank you so much. I'm gonna do the same thing as well. Oh, okay. Hey. This looks so good. Wow. I don't know how much I'm gonna like it because I don't usually like sparkling drinks. So we'll see. Whoa. It's really, really sweet. Like, really sweet. Oh my god, that's so weird. Huh. Okay, my try, right? Yeah. I think that if you like sparkling drinks, you'll like it more than I do. And? Yeah, pretty much, it's pretty similar to the uh, butter, butter beer. beer. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. I would say not my type of drink, but it is still very good. Not as good as the butter beer. Okay. Um, in my opinion. Yeah. I like I have to make a step uh, it's like it's six flags butter beer. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's basically that's exactly what it is actually. So there you go. 
elixir, should you get it? I would for say, $7? Look, if you've never had butterbeer, you know, coming into the park, I would get it. Um, I, I enjoy it. Butterbeer is a lot better. So you can see the main difference between butterbeer and this is that they use like a legit like froth. Yeah. In there. This is just kind of like a bubbly th a froth. Okay, so it yeah. tastes the same. It doesn't have the same effect that the butterbeer has because the butterbeer one seeps more into the drink and changes the flavor. So it's basically not, it's not just like straight up cream soda. Oh, I this got you. This makes it basically straight up cream soda. That's fair, that's fair. That is fair. I would say, eh. I, I wouldn't get it again. Um, I would say use your, if you have a dining plan, use your snack thing for- Yeah, use your snack and try it. Otherwise, yeah. I feel like maybe try it once. What I was actually going to say is use your snack on the ice cream towards the back of the park and just skip this all together. But I know that a lot of people have different opinions, so I guess try it if you want. If you're into this type of like drink, I would say get it. Like if you yeah. like cream, cream soda is what it tastes like. Yeah. So if you like cream soda, root beer, that type of soda, then yeah. I would get it. Yeah. So anyways, that's really going to be it. I'm going to do an outro once I have more hands. Yeah. I'm just uh, not a fan of a like bit. soda type of drinks and this is definitely just soda with like some sort of cream, I'm it's yeah, cream I'm soda. So, that's what I, that's what I said too. Yeah, so like, and I'm just not a big cream soda fan, so, so sorry. All around me are familiar faces, born out. I, uh, yeah, I'm definitely happy that. I didn't even, I didn't even finish, but when I first had it with camera, I didn't finish it. I, I drank like half, but I was like, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, we like. I'm. I'm glad that we used the snack credit. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Hey. Theme park update. Check it out. Anyways, um, what was I gonna say? Oh shit. Uh, yeah. Like, if you like soda and like kind of that type of soda, like you said, get it. But other than that, I don't really like that kind yeah. of thing. And, yeah. I just it's didn't the, like it. It's the same way I feel about butterbeer. Cause I like butterbeer, but I don't ever get it anymore. Cause I only drink maybe half of it. Yeah. Like it just like that sweetness is a little too much. Yeah, for sure. So definitely, like if you don't, if you have butterbeer and you don't, like you can't handle it, don't. I, yeah. I, I will suggest I I would use a snack credit on it if you've done any plan. Yeah, if you have a snack credit, then use that, but don't pay the seven dollars. Yeah. Anyways. That's the, with this video, that's really going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little guide to Six Flags. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and watch some of my other videos on Six Flags Fiesta Texas if this is your first one because I will probably have some other information that I maybe didn't share in this video. Anyways, I will see you guys all next time. Peace out.